Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Brilliant Move on chess.com. So the first thing you would like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you in your PC. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type chess.com and hit the enter button, and that should take you into this page. Of course, if you have an account, you can simply go and click on this login option on this left panel. And here you can enter your username or email, password, and check this remember me if you don't want to log in anymore. Of course, you can even log in with your Apple account, Google account, or Facebook account if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of create or logging in into your account. Or if you don't have an account, you can simply go and click on sign up from here or sign up from here. Both will take you to this page. And here, of course, You'll just have to choose a username, email, enter an email and password, and simply click at sign up. Of course, you would like even to choose your chess skill level, new to chess, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And also, you can sign up with Apple, Google, or Facebook, like login, if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of this is signing up, of this signing up. So once you're logged in into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself here in this home screen or the main screen of the chess.com. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to get Brilliant's move. So of course, if you want to do that, let's just go to this learn panel uh, on this list panel, hover this learn, click on analysis. That should take us to the board, of course. So how can you possibly make a Brilliant move? Of course, to make a Brilliant move, you'll have to think way more deeper than you think because brilliant moves are not easy even for great players. But you can make some if you are actually clever. So let's just give you, as an example, it's not going to be brilliant, but I'm just going to give you an example. Let's say as an example, we have this position here. And let's pull something like that. Oh, no, let's not do this. Let's pull something like that. Oh, no, that's not going to work as well. Let's pull something like that. And here we are going to let's just do this and let's just do this, let's just do this, do this, and do this. So, okay, here the black king or the black queen actually hang her queen. So we can actually easy or easily capture that queen. But this is an example, and let's say that's here. Let's just make something here, sorry. Just make another move, make this, make this, make this, make this, and make this. So we actually have a mate here. Oh, sorry, that's not going to be actually a mate. So let's just do this, do this, and do this. Now we'll have a mate. So here, when we actually hand the queen, let's say an example, you are as white, you will ignore this queen and go for the checkmates. That is not actually a brilliant move, but for like people that are not playing chess a lot, they will actually just see the queen hanging and will go directly for the queen and you will forget their checkmates. So if you make a move, actually, that's going to lead to a checkmate or to winning some materials, will, which will give you a lot of opportunities to win the game. That will consider or will be considered as a brilliant, brilliant, sorry, brilliant move. And it will be count on your analysis. You will be good to go. So that's actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.